Hello, friends. How have you been? Yesterday, what did you do during the day? What about last night? Which do you like better, daytime or the night? I like both day and night. During the day, it's good to have the sun. At night, it's good to have the moon, like this. The reason is obvious. Yes, we have many things to forget. Friends, how much do you care about nature around you? There are the sun and the moon that you see each day, and the grass, trees, and flowers that grow in the ground. How beautiful are they? Well, before people were in this world, nature was born first. So let us feel how important nature is by drawing nature today. I, your teacher, have prepared a little story to take a trip through nature with you. So starting now, let's go on a story adventure. The sun and the moon lived together. The sun and the moon were so different from each other that they wanted to get closer. The sun told the moon, "I am so hot." That I want to have a friend who likes how hot I am. Then the moon answered. Then invite a friend called Land, and he'll love you very much. The sun answered yes, and asked the moon after a month. Then do you have any friends you want to invite? The moon answered. Well, I wonder what I look like. I want to have a friend who can show my face's reflection. Then the sun answered, "I know a friend like that. You can ask a friend called C." The moon smiled at the sun. Yes. How was the story? Don't you want to draw the sun and the moon too? So let's try to draw the sun. So I'll draw by tracing a circle like this. I'll try to draw it. The last time I was drawing with a pencil, I'm drawing with crayons today. So why did I draw it yellow? Because the sun is. So bright! I've drawn it in yellow. Then we have to express what shines around this circle. Don't think too hard about it. When you think something is the sun, it all becomes the sun. I'll try to express a shining thing with this short straight line. Yes. I'll color in the sun. You can color it in with your favorite color. It can be one color or many colors. So, color over a large area. Colors that are similar to the colors of nature. I try to show that I can feel nature in a picture too. Well, I'll draw a nice expression on the sun's face. Smiling eyes and a nose and a smiling mouth. You remember? Yes, I drew it with a smiling face. You don't have to draw it like this. Next, let's draw the moon. I like the crescent moon. 
out of all the moon shapes. It's a new shape, so we can have fun learning how to do it. Unlike the full moon, only the lower part of the crescent moon is round. Now, when you draw it, it goes from here to here. And I'll draw it down in a convex shape. Yes, this is a thin crescent moon. And color inside like you colored the sun. It will not be difficult to color it a little more than the sun. It's okay if patterns show up like this when you color. So, do you have to color the moon's face like the sun's? Let's draw a moon with a relaxed look. Eye. Next, a nose. And next is a mouth. This is the side view, so I'll only draw one eye. How was your class today? For me, it was so great because I felt the warmth from the sun and the moon. Your heart is much warmer than this, isn't it? Somehow, I feel your hearts over here. Then we'll look forward to our next time together. Bye!